Hi guys. I hope you guys are having a blessed and a wonderful day. But I want to come to you guys with something God has given me that he opened my eyes to. Um, not through the most fun process, <laughs> but it was also an eye opener for me. And in my definition, I call it the infestation. And a couple of weeks ago, I had, well, first of all, I had been seeing these bugs in my car and I thought maybe they was coming off the trees that they were just getting in when we opened the doors and I had no idea what they were and you know eventually they got worse because you know I'd killed them and not think nothing of it and when I was cleaning out my car you know I vacuum um and clean what I saw I didn't really know how to get under my seats. I had looked at videos and things like that and it was just like, okay, I'm doing what they showed me that should be, you know, pulling my seat up and stuff like that. So I was just like, you know, I'm just not gonna worry about it. I'll get as much as I can and eventually I'll get my car detailed, cleaned out, whatever, and have somebody else do it. So that's what I did. I just did what I saw, cleaned what I saw, not really bothered to get under my seats and things like that, didn't even bother with it. And a couple weeks ago, I noticed that the bugs that were coming in my car got worse. And they were like these little beetles. I had never seen them before, no idea what they were. So I thought, again, it was just something that came out the trees into my car. But turns out they were something called carpet beetles. Um, I honestly don't know where they came from. I don't have any in my house at all. But somehow they were they're in my car. <laughs> they were in my car. So it's just like, I don't know. I don't know where they came from. But the... I found out, I looked up and researched what they were and then found the name of them, how to treat them and things like that. So that's what I began doing. I made the spray and everything, started spraying my car, my seats, everything, but I still couldn't really quite figure out why it wasn't really helping. They were still coming out and what it is like, it really, didn't make it easy because I don't have the leather seats and things like that. I have the one that's mostly like carpet and then I have carpet in my car and things like that. But my back seats here, there was so much stuff that I could see like in the seats and I can kind of see that some of the bugs were coming from in between the seats and the back. And I was like, okay. I really got to figure out how to get these seats to come up. And so, as I was cleaning my car out one day, uh, the neighbor asked me, you know, oh, you, you clean out your car or whatever. I'm like, yeah, I have these bugs in here. Apparently, they're called carpet beetles. I don't know exactly where they're coming from. I can't figure out how to get my seats up. <laughs> because the video told me that I should pull from the bottom. And so, that's what I did. But I didn't know that the little handles for my seat were, I guess, just tucked in. And all I had to do was reach in there and pull it from the back part of the seat. And it lets up the whole seat the whole time. Didn't even notice. <laughs> and call me what you want. Um, say, oh, she should have known that, whatever. Obviously, if I should have known, I would have known. But... I don't have much experience with cleaning cars and things like that and I do my best to do better every time and I'm always on the go and sometimes my mind just forgets stuff or to take the time to look into something else and I'm always getting my kids in getting them out go do the bare minimum okay this is clean enough and go and when I let the seats up guys it was horrible when I mean there was some bugs there was 
um, fruit snacks, there were chip crumbs, there was the lava and things like that. And it was like crazy because I'm also on a budget, a strict budget at that. I uh, don't have much income for myself and to best pay somebody to come out and clean my car for me would have been too much money, too much cost. And people don't really, they don't really treat cars. I don't, I don't know. That's what most of the people that I've talked to said. Well, we, we don't really treat cars. So it was up to me to do it myself. So of course I had to clean all of that, all those things out to the best of my ability, myself, vacuum, all of that stuff. Um, and then I also had to be careful at the same time to get as much as I could out before I used my personal vacuum to clean it out because I didn't want those things, the larva and all that stuff to get inside of it. And guys, it was so, it was disgusting. But the Lord did bless me in a way to where the guy that comes and sprays our apartment and it was just like ask him and i asked him i told him the problem that i was having you know i had cleaned everything but i still saw some bugs can't really figure out how to get rid of them so he came and he sprayed for me he was like i'll spray your car for you and that's what he did and it killed off most of them now on my part i still have to make sure i keep it clean i vacuum it at the car thing instead of using my own personal one because again I don't want those in my house. <laughs> I can only imagine how much trouble it would be to get those out of my apartment if those things were to get in there. And it kind of, God, doing all this, going through all this, kind of opened my eyes with my walk with Christ. And you may say how, but take sin sin as the infestation it's when you don't kill it all the way <laughs> when you take shortcuts to just do the bare minimum to remain safe to remain in God then that sin grows when you're not treating the root cause if you're not getting to the bottom of the issue you're just doing enough and that's what I did for a while. That's what I do. I was doing like the bare minimum. I wanted to live my life a little bit. I wanted to hold on to sin. I wanted to hold on to my ways. And a lot of the times mentally, you know, we can blame everybody else. We can blame life, the world, whatever. But God has promised to give us peace in the midst of the storms that we endure but because we still have that sin there it becomes an infestation in our minds in our hearts and in our spirit and our soul that we have and a lot of times we're feeling drained we feel depressed we feel that anxiety all of that because we have given sin a landing place in our hearts we've given it somewhere to feed <laughs> we've given it somewhere to grow we've given it somewhere to multiply and because we don't want to get to the root cause or take the time to figure out how to actually get rid of it and we say oh this should be enough it doesn't take all that to praise god or be committed to god and that's something that our um pastor sanders salters preached about it like a joy about being committed to god and guys, you can nurture sin. I mean, you can nurture, and when you nurture it, it will grow. Whether you intentionally do it or not. And nowadays, we've come to a point where mentally we tell ourselves that I'm doing the best I can. But are you really? Because that's what I told myself that I was doing with my car. Girl, you a mom. You got time. You you ain't got time to do all that. Just do what you can. That's enough. And just keep going. The outside part on top looks good. 
the outside part where people can see looks nice but underneath that tape <laughs> that I didn't want to take the time to figure out how to work and I didn't want to take the time to figure out what to do it came back on me because I didn't do it had I dealt with it before had I just asked around to people before because it never clicked to me to actually ask somebody else for help I promise you it never clicked to me one time to ask somebody else uh how do I get these seats to come up because this guy I said it one time he's like oh here you go <laughs> And you know how much of a fool that I felt like? I was a fool. That's exactly what I was being. That's exactly what I was. I was a fool because I was too stubborn to ask for help. I was too busy to take time to get help with it. And I kept prolonging it, procrastinating, getting help for this car. I got this car in 2019. That's when I got this car. So 2019, 2021, 23. It's been about four years, guys. And it's crazy because you would think that I learned how to work this by now. But because I was stubborn, I wanted to focus on what I thought was important. I didn't feel like dealing with that or whatever. Oh, surely there's not that much stuff that has fell between that seat. And not thinking in my mind that I've had this car for a while. <laughs> And it's just in my mind, it was just, oh, you can do it later. You can do it later. You can do it later. You can deal with it later. You can do that stuff later. And that's exactly how I, I mean, it opened my mind that, okay, this is how you've not only been doing your car, but this is how you've been doing your life. This is how you've been doing your life. And it's ridiculous. <laughs> it's insane that. I would even have that mindset. And the crazy thing is that the way the world is now, you won't even know that your mind is like that. You won't even have the time to stop and think. A lot of the things, if we're not taught how to do it, we will ignore it because we're not familiar with it. I haven't always known how to take care of a car and what I have. How to manage it, let alone like how, how do I do it to manage what I have in my hand, my kids, my money, this car, my home. Guys, my home was even a mess for a while. When I tell you that I went through a lot of things, I went through anxiety, I went through depression. It was always my crutch when I didn't want to do something and I let it get to me. And for a lot of people, you know, those things are easy to pull out of. It's not easy to pull out of depression. It's not easy to pull out of depression, um, anxiety. And to do that, it takes a lot. You will miss a lot of things because you won't be focused. Even when you do things, going to work, being with your kids, being with your spouse, trying to have fun with family. Like mentally, you will not be there. And trying to deal with that and also be in Christ and also follow the word of God to be a child of God, it is not easy. It makes it easy to sin. It makes it easy to lash out. It makes it easy to stress. It makes it easy to see what you don't have and when you do that the sin is just infested in your heart and in your mind and in your soul it's there eating away at everything that you've ever done everything that you've ever known everything that you've worked hard for like for real those bugs in my car to my knowledge like they they, they just they destroy the carpet they destroy the things in the car and it was just like luckily i did find them when i did because no telling how much worse it could have gotten and it's crazy because it's just like my whole if i would have taken those bugs inside my home i have carpet in there that too could have been infected I was so careless 
so careless with things. Like, those things will latch on to anything that has, like, if you, let's say, this material right here. Yeah, they would have, they would have loved to have gotten on this. <laughs> and that's what they would have gotten. Like, if you had a jacket like this or anything like that, if you're driving in this car, like, it's crazy because, like, even to this day, it, it, par it makes me paranoid that they're just going to infect it again. But I trust that I've been doing what I can weekly to vacuum my car out, keep things how it is. And again, um, I'm going to be honest. I still see one of two, uh, whatever, but they're not everywhere well, guys when i mean these things were crawling on my ceilings they were crawling like one day i got in my car and they were everywhere and it was just like what the hell i'm just saying what the hell and <laughs> i didn't want to get in my car but it was like him you get in here, you take control of these things, or they take control of you. You better pick one, you choose one. You work too hard for this car. You're not going to give it over to no carpet beetles or whatever the heck these things are. And you better get control over it. And that's how I had to be over my walk with Christ. Over my walk as being a child of God. I had to get control of it. And it seems hard. It appeared hard at the time. It was like, there's no way. Just get this car up. Just burn the car at this point. Burn the car, everything in it. There, You can't save anything. <laughs> you can't save anything in this car. Burn it. Give it back. <laughs> Let them deal with it. But it was like, no. I created this mess. I did this. I allowed it. I had a part in it. So I got to clean up what I messed up. I don't know what I messed up. <laughs> just like the song says start my life over again but hey i did it guys i did it i i took initiative and i put my gloves on and i scrubbed the messy under the seat it was so horrible and disgusting <laughs> and if it wasn't so bad Guys, I would have shown a picture to you, but I absolutely will not show you that you will lose your appetite. It was disgusting. It was like, I don't know um, even how to describe it. Like I said, chips, crumbs, and gummy stuff mixed with bugs and the larva from the bugs. And it was just like you can see where they had hatched from these little, little tiny, tiny things so small that you wouldn't think these bugs would come from that but they do it's, it's disgusting it made my skin crawl and i'm just itching right now just thinking about it <laughs> but now the very fact that you see me sitting in this car means that i've gained control over it so and you don't see one flying on me on my shirt means that i've gained control over it it wasn't like this it wasn't like this. I had no control over it. And like, it was everywhere. I was paranoid. I had to go get my kids that day from school. But there was absolutely no way that they were about to get in my car like that. Thank goodness for my sister that always helps me out. So <laughs> she did go and get the kids that day. And it was just like, I was grateful because I was really paranoid about my kids getting in the car, especially my toddler and things like that. I needed to clean her seat out and all of that stuff because she does have the seat. Uh, it's actually back there that has the cloth on it. So, yeah. But guys, anyway, I had to get my stuff together. I had to gain control. I had to pull myself together because at the time the situation looked too hard. There was no way of coming back from it. But God was my strength. I tackled those bugs just like I had to tackle my sin and the wrong in my life because I refused to let it infect me anymore. I refused to allow it. I refused to give Satan the feeding ground for him to grow and produce more. It would not be eating away at my heart or my life any longer. So we have to make the choice, guys, to be committed today. I love you guys. Please take care of yourself. 
learn whatever you can.